life, wisdom. Before I get started, I want to ask you a question. How many caps, fillings, or crowns do you have in your mouth uh, due to repairing cavities? And if you don't know, you can just give me your best guess, but be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. In a previous video, I discussed a lawsuit against PepsiCo made by a man who allegedly found a dead rat inside of his Mountain Dew. And I discussed the effects of phosphoric acid on our teeth, on our health, and potentially on this dead rat in the Mountain Dew. But I made a small mistake because Mountain Dew actually contains citric acid instead of phosphoric acid, but most of the dark cola drinks like Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper actually do contain phosphoric acid. Now, both of these acids are used to add tanginess and flavor, and both of them have a whole host of health hazards. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the acidity of soft drinks. So everything I stated in that video about phosphoric acid is correct, and everything I stated about that lawsuit is correct. Now on April 8th of 2010, PepsiCo filed an affidavit in response to this lawsuit. And I actually want to read you the text from that affidavit. If a mouse is submerged in a fluid with the acidity of Mountain Dew, the following will occur due to the normal acidity of the fluid. Between four days to at most seven days in the fluid, the mouse will have no calcium in its bones and bony structures. Within four to seven days in the fluid, the mouse's abdominal structure will rupture. Its cranial cavity, or head, is also likely to rupture within that time period. By 30 days of exposure to the fluid, all of the mouse's structures will have disintegrated to the point that the structures, excepting possibly a portion of the tail, will not be recognizable, and therefore the animal itself will not be recognizable either. Instead, after 30 days in the fluid, the mouse will have been transformed into a jelly-like substance. And I'm not really sure which is worse, to find a dead rat in my soda or to find a jelly-like substance that used to be the carcass of a dead rat in my soda. And I think it's funny that PepsiCo admits and is really using this in its defense, admitting that its soda products are too acidic for even a dead rat carcass uh, not to decompose inside of that soda can. And it's important for you to recognize that when we drink sodas, we are consuming that citric acid and phosphoric acid that is responsible for that dead rat carcass disintegrating. And you'll notice that the first effect is that the calcium will be leached out of the bones and bony structures of the rat. And it, that's important for us because when we drink these soda products, the calcium is actually leached out of our teeth because that's one of the primary functions of an acid. So I thought that we would look at the pH scale to give us a better understanding of just how acidic these soft drinks are. So here we have the pH scale going from zero to 14, where zero is most acidic, 14 is most alkaline, and seven is right in the middle. Distilled water that's neither acidic or alkaline is considered this neutral seven. The acidity of a substance is determined by how many hydrogen ions that substance contains. And each number on the pH scale represents 10 times the acidity. So something with the pH of five is 10 times more acidic than something with a pH of six and something with a pH of two is 100 times more acidic than something with a pH of seven. So you get that even though the pH scale looks pretty small, there is a huge difference between each number on that scale. Here are the acidities for some common soft drinks. Coca-Cola, 2.52, Pepsi, 2.61, orange soda, 2.9, Mountain Dew, 3.27, and root beer, 4.24. 4. 
And you'll also notice that acid rain actually has a pH of five. So these soda drinks are actually more acidic than acid rain. And root beer is actually the least acidic of the soft drinks I've listed. Now, PepsiCo admitted that Mountain Dew with a pH of 3.27 could dissolve a rat carcass in a matter of weeks. So what about the soda drinks which are actually even more acidic like the Coca-Cola and Pepsi? It's also worth noting that Clear Gatorade and Sunny Delight clock in at 2.4 on the pH scale. And again, these are almost as acidic as our stomach acid and actually a hundred times more acidic than acid rain. The reason I asked you at the beginning of this video about your dental health and how many cavities you have is that soft drinks have been linked to tooth decay. And when you combine them with the huge amount of refined sugar also contained in those drinks, it really is creating a nightmare situation for our dental health. In industrialized countries, it's estimated that 98% of people have at least one cavity. And we can see these industrialized nations having increasing problems with cavities as people drink more and more of these highly acidic, full of refined sugar soft drinks. One quick thing I just want to mention. One way that we can preserve our dental health is by keeping our mouth and our teeth clean for as much of the time as possible. So after we eat a meal, and especially after we eat something highly acidic or something with lots of sugar, you want to brush your teeth. And if you can't brush your teeth, then just swishing your mouth with water or mouthwash is really going to help to clean the surfaces of your teeth. Think about if you are sucking on candies all day or sipping on soda all throughout the day, your teeth are being constantly exposed to these very abrasive substances. So after you eat a meal or after you drink a soda, if you're still drinking sodas, go ahead and brush your teeth and keep your teeth clean for as much of the day as possible. In the 1900s, a dentist named Weston A. Price researched various ethnic groups, their health, and their diet. He looked at the African Pygmies, Australian Aborigines, Native Americans, and other ethnic groups. What he found was that the people who were eating their traditional diet of whole natural foods had a significantly lower rate of tooth decay. And many of these groups didn't even brush their teeth. They also didn't have fluoride toothpaste or other fluoride treatments either. So the conclusion based on this research is that tooth decay, and especially the rampant tooth decay seen in modern society, isn't due to poor dental hygiene so much as it's due to the processed foods, refined sugar, and highly acidic substances like I've been discussing in this video. So when you see ingredients like phosphoric acid and citric acid, you should know not only are these bad for your overall health, but these substances are really horrific for your teeth. There have also been studies correlating soft drink consumption with weak bones and deteriorating bone health because acid will leach calcium and other minerals out of the bones. A study at Harvard examined 9th and 10th grade girls and found that girls who consumed sodas were three times more likely to have a bone fracture injury than girls who didn't. A similar study at Tufts University found that women who drank more than three 12 ounce so servings of cola per day had 2.3% to 5% lower bone mineral density in the hip than women who consumed less than one serving of cola per day. So after finding out that sodas are actually more acidic than acid rain, I can't imagine why anybody would still want to drink these beverages. But I know that addiction to these beverages is something really hard to fight. They're loaded with refined sugar to set off your brain's reward center. They're loaded with caffeine to make them addictive. And heck, they're everywhere, incredibly common and incredibly cheap. 
but there are no health benefits associated with drinking soda. In fact, there is a huge list of health hazards. Bone degeneration, tooth decay, obesity, weight gain, diabetes, you name it. So it's really your choice. Whether you want the instant gratification of popping open a soda, or whether you want to preserve the health of your teeth and your entire body by just saying no to soda and opting for something with a huge list of health benefits like water. We all know the feeling when 2 or 3 p.m. hits and our energy just plummets. And I know a lot of you will reach for an energy drink or a five-hour energy, but in a future video, I'm going to tell you the truth about these drinks and give you some real solutions to solving your energy problems. We've been told that breakfast cereals are part of this complete breakfast and that they can even help us to lose weight and replace meals. But are these boxed cereals just nothing more than candy pretending to be a meal? Find out in my future video, Candy Cereals. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this video interesting. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel, give me a thumbs up and share this video if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to learn more about me and my health coaching, you can visit KarinaRachel.com. Please be sure to tune in again next time. Thank you so much for watching. To see the original video about PepsiCo's lawsuit, check out my video, Dead Rat in a Mountain Dew. Can Coke or coffee be part of a healthy diet? What are the real health effects of these beverages? Find out in my video, the truth about Coke, coffee, and caffeine. What do breast implants and Wendy's natural cut french fries have in common? A sweet little chemical called dimethyl polysiloxane. To learn more, check out the video on Wendy's french fries. Did you know that certain foods are actually designed to be addictive? Check out our video, Fast Food for Addiction.